Mayu. Okay. So, Mayu, how are you? I'm fine. You're good? Yeah, good. Feeling nervous or it's fine? It's fine, ma'am. No fine. Let's start with the introduction then. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, first of all, thanks a lot, uh, both of you, to giving me this opportunity to be here. My name is Mayur Appasai Barade. I'm basically comes from a small village, which is from the district of Aurangabad in the state of Maharashtra. If you talk about my, uh, talking about my past education, I did my bachelor's in mechanical engineering discipline in Government College of Engineering and Research uh, in Pune District College. Um, about my final year project, uh, which was actually an industrial project in which we as a team built an automated system with the collaboration with that industry. In that, uh, the output product of that company was a sharp bearing and we have to make an automated system to measure the output uh, size of that sharp bearing, whether it would fall in given tallest limit or not. As well as we need to dismantle it and uh, assemble it again. Uh, about my extracurricular activities, in my college time, I did participate in various events, various cultural events, various sports events. Um, specifically talking about, I was the participant in the cricket, uh, about sports cricket, uh, about kabaddi, and what my uh, technical events I did participated in co-kart event, which was an inter-college event, in which we as a team built a cart, uh, in which I will work, I was work as a manager of the team, in which I used to manage all the uh, scheduling, all the meetings, all the seminars of the teams. And I'm the who uh, seeking all the permission from the uh, principals, uh, department, and HODs. And I do, I'm the one who contacting some of the material suppliers, retailers. And that was a great uh, experience for me. And from that, uh, that I just want to be in the field that was, uh, I like to work on in the future. And that's what uh, I joined, I want to join in NITI. That's tell me one thing that attracts toward you towards Nikki. What it's is the speciality dream. of Nikki? It's my dream, ma'am. Because uh, uh, since my uh, second and third year of graduation, uh, I want uh, I'll, I'm come to know about the Nikki. What is it actually all about? Uh, then I started preparing uh, to get and basically I started with the uh, self study and started with the some basic subject. Then I come to know about the industry engineering and I found some of the relation with uh, both of the field. So uh, I just want to be go ahead. That's what the, the subject which I like most is because they have some of the industry related problem that we actually solving. Uh, so I want to, so then I decided I should go for that. I searched a lot about it and various videos from the various platform that helped me a lot to uh, just, uh, to join that, uh, join in the NITIN. That's why I'm inspired a lot for that. Okay, what is your long-term goal? Mm, firstly, I'm not, uh, to be frankly, I'm not decided yet, but uh, firstly, my current goal is I do want to join NITI to be part of that, then develop myself as a professional, uh, add up skill on me, uh, try to learn from my peers, all the teachers, and all the um, already pass out students. So whatever I can and be good in that place. That is my, I haven't decided till what should so I what do. you will do when you will inculcate the managerial skills or some kind of the qualities from it? So there okay. will be a certain plan, no? Yes, definitely. Uh, uh, I, I like to work in the, some of the managers. That's what I'm here. Uh, what I think, uh, when I will get clear idea about what should I do in future, only in the, uh, when I join DT, I'll experience some of the seniors, what they are doing, uh, what uh, how they are growing, and that's what, uh, that will give me better idea to what should I uh, go, uh, in which direction should I go, and what should I need to prepare. That's it. Okay, have you ever thought to open some kind of a venture or uh, your own, uh, you want to be entrepreneur? Uh, not yet, ma'am, but uh, I'll definitely go for it if uh, I'll get uh, some of the quality team, the quality members which will have same greed, same desire like me. And I I have some of the, my financial backing as well because uh, in the same time, I need to fix some of the my family instability because a uh, uh, lot of responsibility behind my back and I need to fix them with the time and definitely I'll go for ventures because I like to be in the competition. I like to be in the, what we can say, challenging zone. That's what is I am. Tell me your favorite business tycoon. 
बिजनेस फ्यूचर ड्रिवन प्रोजेक्ट ही वर्किंग ऑन नॉट द प्रॉफिट ड्रिवन बेसिकली इफ यू थिंक अबाउट द सम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग थिंग सम विच Uh, your venture will solve some of the quality problems. Then will definitely profit will follow your path, and that's what uh, the thing which will inspire me a lot from that. Okay, may you summarize yourself in one word? Myself, uh, I am confident man. Confident. Just ask you a quirky question. Uh, if I ask you to put uh, tennis balls into a limousine, how many tennis balls can you put in a limousine? Ma'am, I am not happy. What? How many tennis balls can you put in a limousine? In a Limousine, any kind of a car. I'll just tell you about all two. I didn't get it. What? How many tennis balls can you put in an alto? In a alto, any car, any random wagon. Alto car, okay. Sorry, I didn't get it. Sorry, ma'am. Uh, alto car, tennis balls, so small spherical tennis balls that we we can put in alto car. Okay, basically. By the calculation, I will calculate what is the volume of the tennis ball, <laughs> and then calculate uh, volume which I uh, already given of the car that is uh, how many liter liter of water it can store. But say any answer, I won't be able to count it at that how many tennis balls. It's similar to the answer that how many hair you have in your head. So even if you say thousand, I won't be counting. Okay, my dear, uh, calculate. Let's calculate your hair volume. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Let's go. Uh, uh, I'll shift it to Bajaj sir. So, thank you. Okay. Okay, uh, Mayur, you have done your project on automated system, right? Yes, sir. So, uh, is it a co component? Can I say it is a component of IOTs which we are using nowadays in industries? Uh, basically, uh, not about that. Uh, whatever prog uh, problem statement we got from the industry, that uh, they are measuring the output product clearance with the help of some of the manual system. Means a man hold that output product in hand and that measure the clearance with the help of gauges. And if that uh, fall in the range, then he accept. Otherwise, he dismantle. But by the process, what uh, main uh, problem we observe that there is some of the component we actually we uh, that are not uh, rejectable component, but we reject because some of the errors, uh, some of the holding force we need to apply on that vary. If the holding force is vary vary from man to man, vary from the condition. So uh, that's not uh, the thing we should happen. That we. Reject the acceptable component because we can't afford that at any cost. So and it's uh, uh, although it's time consuming. So we need to build on automated system. With the with what we did, uh, we just um, build a pneumatic system. Uh, with the help of that, we just applied a same amount of holding force on that bearing. And with the help of sensors, we measured that uh, clearance. If that clearance fall within the range, then we only accept. Otherwise, we reject, dismantle it, and do it same procedure again. That's what is our problem. Okay, my you are mechanical engineer, right? Yes, yes. Mm, so, when did you graduate? In twenty one. Twenty one. My after graduation was so. Don't you think you should have some kind of industrial experience before you land up in this course of PGD IE? Mm, definitely, because I whatever I see some of the guys we get industrial ex experience. But uh, what I thought, uh, I I definitely try to learn from the that student also when I join NITI. What the kind of experience did we get? See, uh, although I don't get what uh, all the things what they are learned from the industry, but I try I will try to cope up with them and try to learn what they have learned, what the things uh, differently they did, and what the things. Uh, are helping them in the niti so i will try to manage that uh, i although i don't have any industrial experience but uh, what thing what uh, i think that i will definitely get a great exposure and great uh, opportunity in the niti so i can uh, develop on that and and develop myself in the future because uh, yeah some of the guys with great experience are uh, always there so it will kind of challenge to me to cope up with them and try to apne industrial engineering kiya hai mayur yes sir you have yes, done sir. industrial engineering right okay mass production can you tell me what is a mass production 
Yes, sir. Uh, if we are building a same kind of same uh, kind of structure with uh, minimum variation in that, or same kind of structure with no variation, then we go for the mass production. Mass production is the thing we are producing large in number. Due to that, example, they say which industries? Electronics. Which industries? Yeah, electronics industries. If you are producing same kind of any uh, kit, any kind of circuits of the same structure, then we are producing large in number. So due to that, the production cost per unit we cost uh, the per unit we are investing, which we are definitely go in the. And what are the other different kind of uh, in, uh, production systems? What are other different kind of production systems? Okay, there is a, a lean lean or agile system that is there. Okay, mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. so in that uh, we are just responsive. We are just uh, pro producing product on the base of customer demand. That is responsive system. System. Sir, you uh, tell me something about Industry 4.0. Sir, Industry 4.0 is all about the automation and uh, develop yourself with the time because. Uh, yeah, it will it will have uh, some of the quality features in that like uh, Internet of Things, data science, data analytics is there. Uh, some of the uh, many okay, which subjects in mechanical are your favorite? Mechanical strength of materials. Okay, can you tell me uh, what kind of strengths do we have? As a human strengths. Uh. As a human, we are resistant, sir. We are resilient because. Uh, no, no. Tell me the type of strengths. Stress strain diagram, you know? Yes, sir. What kind of strength do can we calculate from that? Uh, from stress strain diagram, we calculate the specifically tensile strength, whatever the uh, extension from that uh, within the specified limit, we get tensile strength. Uh, from the various theories of failure, from that tensile strength, we can calculate shear strength. And similarly, if we draw the stress And how do you calculate factor of safety? Sir, factor of safety is uh, on us what we uh, what we want to uh, fix uh, factor of safety because whatever working stress we have and whatever material uh, limit test, limit stress that material have, from that we can calculate factor of safety is like that uh, ultimate limit of that material divided by working stress. That is the factor of safety, sir. Okay, so I think we can give the feedback now uh, to uh, him. So uh, from my side, abhi uh, tumhe knowledge mayur abhi nahi hai. Tumhe mayur knowledge acquire karna hai in the field of technical strength of material, fluid mechanics, thermodynamics ki jo marathon videos hai unko sun lo ek baar detail mein. Okay sir. Detail mein un videos ko sun lo aur unko go through karo dhang se right. And for jitna bhi current ke topic wahan padhe hue hain panel pe unko topics ko go through karo. Right, uh, those topics you should go through. Your current game, IOTs, industry 4.0, go through those topics also, right? Yes, and sir. industrial engineering, which topics for industrial engineering knowledge acquire, karo, that is also required, right? Uh, yes, over to you, Shudu, man. Uh, see, my, the way you're answering, I feel you're quite underconfident. Ki, bola nahi ja se ya, you are marked up or it doesn't look natural. You're answering to me. Right. Okay. And the way you're expressing it, like, uh, voice mein thoda sa na, josh lane ki kar. you're answering, you're coming for an interview and they're taking it for the first time. Maybe they are interacting you for the first and the final time. So you won't be get chance and they won't guide you. Ki mayu thodi awaaz upar karni hai, thoda sa beech mein pitch low karna hai. When you're moving from one portion to another, like you told me, uh, I am good in this and this and my academics is this and this. Then what you have to do is, then you have to move to the next part, thoda gap low. It should remain that you have ended one portion and you are talking about the next. And other, some of the questions are just uh, asked to check your smartness, how active, how involved are you in the communication. We don't need sometimes the answer. We just need to check the smartness, how uh, briefly you can answer, how you can be so prompt in answering. So don't get confused. And if you don't know the straight away, just straight away say no. Just don't be answering like, what was the question? What was the question? It would be like you are not under understanding and you are not getting it at the very first time. And you don't understand the concept. Simply say, ma'am, I cannot recall and uh, I'm not able to recall it right now. Be a little mm -hmm. bit smart and improve your introduction. I have never attended a session with you, I guess. Uh, only once, ma'am. Only mm -hmm. once you have attended? Yes, yeah, just work on the pitch and the way I'm expressing it to you. Because even we have the voice and we are loud enough to uh, speak again, right? We're not yes, using any kind of a headphones right now. But our yes, voice is quite prompt and you are able to understand. 
and your yes, voice please. is like you have a mic very closer to your neck and still we are not able to understand it okay okay a little louder background uh, keep your background a little change and yes, uh, be in a proper condition to answer yes ma'am okay. all the best ma'am thank you thank you